Okay, so uh, let us start formally. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, this is our session three for the day. And uh, this is on the design of uh, robotic mechanisms. We'll have uh, six speakers, that is six papers to be uh, taken up in this session. And our uh, first session, the uh, first paper is uh, uh, paper ID 29. And uh, it will be presented by Raja Shekhar, VS. And uh, the title of the paper is a robust aerial gripper for passive grasping and impulsive release using Scotch York mechanism. So yes, Raja Shekhar, you may please uh, share your screen and uh, you can take, uh, as we have already announced, 14, 13 to 14 minutes mm -hmm. so that we can have good time for our question answers. Sure, sure. sure. Is my screen visible and it is audible? Yes, audible and visible both. You missed up. Yeah. Uh, good evening to everyone. This is V.S. Rajasekhar, uh, a project associate at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I'm here to present my our work on uh, passive uh, grasping uh, using uh, scotch work mechanism, especially for uh, aerial robots. It's specially focused for aerial robots. And the, we are uh, in this presentation. I'll be uh, focusing on the robust uh, robustification process uh, needed in the design, uh, so that uh, the scotch oak mechanism can be used for passive grasping and active release. In the recent days, uh, as we know that unmanned aerial vehicles are being used uh, for various purposes, especially for transporting objects. Uh, in the, to accomplish this task, uh, we need aerial grippers or manipulators. Uh, which would help in grasping the object and uh, taking it to another place and dropping it. So this uh, initial stages uh, where the uh, UAVs are mounted with the object and it just goes and drops and down. But in our work, uh, we are focusing on the UAV taking off, uh, finding an object, uh, coming down, picking it up and uh, going and placing it where it is needed. To perform this task uh, in this work, I have uh, we are proposing a design a gripper design would <clears throat> help uh, in achieving this task in most of the literature what we find is that uh, one do uh, that is one degree of freedom uh, gripper mechanisms are being used uh, for perfect positioning uh, of the object at the place so in this case uh, one do uh, grippers are enough uh, because uh, the vision system of the uh, UAV is already equipped with identifying and locating the target. Uh, the gripper has to just go pick it and uh, come. In, in such scenarios, one degree of freedom uh, aerial grippers are more than sufficient. In this work, we propose a aerial gripper mechanism which would help in improving the endurance of the uh, of the gripping uh, gripping system. So, what I mean by improving the endurance is that. Uh, the gripping mechanism takes power from the uh, power supply, which is uh, attached to the drone. But uh, in this case, uh, where only active uh, release is there, while picking up, it will be passive. Uh, that is, no power supply is, uh, is required. Power is required for picking up. Only for dropping purpose, it is required. And in the recent survey on aerial manipulation, shows that 1D of grippers uh, are actually easy to model, control, and easy to fabricate. There are two methods uh, when it comes to uh, using magnetic grippers because they help in uh, uh, capturing the, attracting the object if it is coated with ferrous. In the entire, uh, this, in this gripper is particularly focused for uh, objects which are coated with ferrous, uh, like maybe a sheet of ferrous on the top and the rest of the thing, uh, object can be different. So this primary purpose of uh, focusing on this area uh, uh, emerged when we participated in the Mohammed bin Zayed International Robotic Challenge, which was held in Abu Dhabi in the year 2020. So for that purpose, where we had to take up bricks, uh, which could be uh, kept on a wall uh, to help the construction activities. So in passive grasping of objects, uh, uh, which is proposed in this uh, work, uh, the, it is energy efficient and increase the, increases the endurance of the UAV when compared to active gra grasping using electro-permanent magnets. 
this has been experimentally proven and it has been reported in the literature which is on the screen so the objective what the or the problem statement is that by limiting the drone size the drone based delivery consumes less energy per package kilometer when compared to the trucks which are conventionally used to deliver things so this can help in for e-commerce business to develop uh, to develop uh, drone technologies with groupers like uh, uh, this which is proposed here in order to actually save a lot of energy and is also economical so the electro permanent magnets uh, which are commonly used uh, actually are not uh, reliable and they consume more power the cost of the semi permanent magnets uh, are very high uh, in case of uh, we are planning to use a semi permanent magnet uh, the cost for a gripper would be very high so also in the electro permanent magnets uh, they are not reliable in the sense uh, residual magnetism is left after the uh, it is demagnetized that causes delay in releasing the object so there is a need for developing a gripper which can uh, grasp in instant like almost instantaneously and release the payload at the uh, duration of operation at a very low cost hence we have chosen a magnetic gripper uh, with passive grasping that is it uses permanent magnets to grasp and releases using a scotch yoke mechanism and has uh, which helps in achieving this task the grippers of this kind can be used efficiently for aerial transportation the proposed robust design stages is as follows the proposed robust stage, uh, design stage starts with the gripper mechanism design uh, or the gripper mechanism selection and calculating the load carrying capacity uh, of the gripper and then optimizing the volume of the gripper gripping like the volume which the gripper occupies below the drone and it it will be used uh, and it would result in creating a robust aerial gripper from a design point of view the gripper which is design, uh, which is implemented uh, or proposed is like follows you can see the figure on the left where the cat model is there where the rotary actuator and the rotating disc which is a part of the scotch yoke mechanism and the slider which goes uh, about uh, slides up and down uh, and there are permanent magnets at the bottom uh, uh, where uh, which would help in attracting the ferrous coated surfaces and it these are enclosed in a gripper mount uh, which is attached to the drone so the fabricated gripper is shown on the right so you can see the gripper with the uh, screw uh, screws on the top which can be mounted to the drone and the, you can see the extreme right uh, the figure where there are three ma magnets placed at a equal, uh, forming an equilateral triangle which enables uh, uh, stability in during grasp so this uh, deciding the side of the equilateral triangle depends on the ferrous uh, coating uh, which is targeted and also on the mass of the object to be lifted so coming to the next uh, stage in robustification process uh, the gripper mechanism is actually uh, designed and it, the load carrying capacity of the gripper is to be found so to in order to do that we calculate the maximum load carrying capacity taking into consideration uh, the magnetic uh, flux uh, density surface area of the magnet and the uh, acceleration due to gravity and the permeability of air and using this uh, uh, relation uh, equation we uh, gave the parameters which are related to our uh, problem and we obtained a value that the gripper can carry a maximum of uh, 4.66 kilograms so coming to the kinematics of the mechanism which would actually help in uh, optimizing the uh, volume uh, this uh, uh, mechanism which is shown over here is a scotch of mechanism and it is uh, the kinematics is done used using the vector loop uh, me uh, method uh, and the velocity acceleration and the jerk are all calculated based on the displacement equations so coming to the dynamics of the mechanism the newton euler method is used to derive the force and momentum equations so in this case uh, you can see the various uh, links uh, of the 
scotch oak mechanism being placed over here and the newton euler method was used to derive the uh, forces and moment uh, momentum in the mechanism so the main purpose of doing the kinematic and the dynamic analysis is to create a perfect or uh, optimized volume uh, so that it would enable the gripper uh, to be light in weight so the optimization of the gripper volume which is the next stage after uh, uh, calculating the load carrying capacity and uh, in this uh, stage where the gripper volume is optimized the mechanism which is the scotch oak mechanism is basically a planar mechanism and the planar gripper area is to be optimized so the objective in the optimization process is to minimize the planar area of the gripper and maximize the torque produced by the actuator so taking these uh, the first uh, thing is that is minimizing the planar area can be done using the kinematics and uh, kinematics uh, equations and uh, the maximizing the torque required to produce the produced by the actuator can be done using the dynamic uh, equations the constraint is the between the radius of the rotating disk and the height of the slider uh, which has to be uh, 0.25 in order to meet the space restrictions with below the drone for this purpose a multi a multi objective optimization uh, weighted geometric programming technique is used so this is used because that is the weighted prog geometric programming is used because the objective functions are all polynomial polynomials which means that the polynomial functions are those which have uh, coefficients which are positive real numbers and the exponentials are real num only real numbers the constraint in this case is a monomial the weighted geometric programming uh, technique will help in deciding various things uh, like uh, scaling the groupers for uh, different uh, drones uh, which uh, can be done by assigning different weights in this technique so in, in another stage in this stage there is another something called as uh, optimizing the thickness of the disk rotating disk in the scotch oak mechanism which is done by using the uh, calculating the rate and then calculating the velocity of the rotating disk from the kinematic equations and for the force exerted uh, during the uh, uh, during the load carrying uh, operation and also from these two things uh, we are calculating the mass of the rotating disk from the impulse equation and using the uh, impulse equation uh, this relationship which is f average we can uh, find out the thickness of the disk uh, since we know the density mass and volume uh, that is the planar volume we know only the thickness of the thing uh, is unknown and we can find out the thickness after doing this we can use simple geometries and uh, decide the shape of uh, the enclosure that is the gripper mount and in the initial experiments which was done uh, where the gripper was uh, mounted below the drone uh, as you can see in the figure uh, on the left uh, the it is mounted below the hexacopter and experiments were conducted on the a field air field using uh, manual and autonomous modes in the manual mode you can see the bricks being lifted that is the red brick which is of mass 1 kg and the green brick is of mass 1 kg but of a different dimension and the blue brick is of mass 1.5 kg so in the initial experiments uh, in autom autonomous mode uh, the uh, uh, the uav took off in autonomous mode uh, did visual surveying approached the target object picked up the target object and uh, it dropped it and landed in the autonomous mode this is done only to prove the efficiency of the gripper so this is the video where the red brick is being picked up and dropped uh, we are closing in a minute uh, i think rajashekhar just a reminder please yes. already 14 minutes yeah so this is the initial uh, testing of the green uh, brick and also the blue brick there was problem due to the downwash and coming to the conclusions uh, which we uh, obtained for this uh, uh, design procedure uh, uh, for robustification is that the, uh, we need to focus on more parameters such as downwash uh, which plays an important role in deciding uh, the size of the object to be picked this will be done in a future work along with the focus on uh, designing a base which would pick up objects of different geometry using closed loop control 
and we like to acknowledge the partial funding from RBCC, PS, IAC, and the Khalifa University at Abu Dhabi, and also the uh, team, IAC, TCS, MBZ, IAC team for helping in conducting the experiments. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you to the speaker, Raja Shekhar. And now uh, some questions, please. I think uh, I can see that there is no question mentioned in Q&A, but in chat, we do have a question from Manish Chohan. I think it is for this because it's regarding Rupa. It would be better that if we write in a question and answer uh, side so that it, we should not miss the questions. Um, I can read for you, uh, Raja Shekhar. The yeah. Were three questions. First is what happens when the gripper is used to lift non-ferrous payload? Okay. Although you mentioned, but yes. Uh, is it for non-ferrous? Uh, no, it is only for ferrous. Yes. Uh, what is the maximum magnetic field strength of the magnet which can be used here? Mag Hello? Interference okay. which the drone system can handle. Uh, so, so it is based on that. So in, in our case, case, we used a neodymium magnet uh, of grade N95, uh, which had a pulling capacity of about 4.5 kgs uh, when done off floor, like uh, without mounting on the drone. This magnet okay, was able you to. Mentioned, uh, uh, okay, but you mentioned the payload which is required to be compute uh, to be carried something uh, 4.95 something. That uh, what was that? How it is related? Have you tried to see what would be the maximum load which it can carry? You uh, mentioned no, no, no. no, actually the max, the load, uh, the magnet, uh, the three magnets put together can carry a maximum load of 4.5 kg when, when mm -hmm. not mount, when done, uh, when not mounted on the drone. So the what we needed was up to 2 kg, which uh, at least 50 percent uh, safety uh, factor of safety is considered, and we were able to test it up to 1.5 kg. Okay. Uh, it is able to pick up. Okay, and uh, from uh, same Manish Chauhan, we have a third question. Does the use of magnet implies use of known ferrous link mechanisms? Exactly. Uh, the, me the mechanisms uh, should uh, not be uh, a non uh, like a ferrous magnetic, even though if it's ferrous man uh, like uh, made of ferrous materials, uh, at least the gripping area should be in so like a uh, uh, like it should be uh, like used uh, designed properly yes because this is an important consideration we have one or two more questions one is uh, from selva kumar what is the payload of your drone although you mentioned i think uh, it is similar question yeah and uh, what is the maximum torque produced to lift 1.5 kg if something then uh, i think it will be a question regarding the actuator if you have which actuator to be used. So what is the maximum torque produced? I so the question is required. Uh, yeah. How much required so for that our, actuator? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So in, in our case, uh, the actuator which was uh, used uh, had a uh, lifting capacity of 35 kg centimeter torque. Uh, but the actual thing which we needed was in Newtons for somewhere around uh, 1.5 or something like that, uh, roughly. 1.5 for the talk you are mentioning? Maybe? Yeah, for talk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that such uh, these points are given in your paper also. So anybody else who's interested in looking at the paper, because the paper, in my opinion, it has a good span. It has both uh, theoretical as well as uh, experimental uh, aspects into it. So I, I would say that it was a good paper because uh, the time is there for the next. So I'm not taking up any much further question for this. And I congratulate you. And thank you, Raja Shekha, for uh, giving your presentation. I had two or three questions, but I'm just cutting it short. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, yeah.